Hi, Chloe. Hi. <laughs> Hi. Hello. Oh, yeah, you be a good girl. What's up, guys? Today, we are going to be talking about one of my favorite things in the whole wide world, my dogs. They're an important part of my life. I love them, love them, love them so much. So today we're gonna do a little bit of a meet and greet, introduce you to two of my favorite things. So my dog, the one that I own, that my family owns, is a Rottweiler named Chloe. She is eight years old and um, is was actually our first second family dog we had one when we were really young gave it to our grandparents because he likes to swim and as you can hear that's not chloe that's Dina. but there's chloe where is she there she is hi chloe anyways she's awesome we got chloe my freshman year of high school i came back from a spring break trip and there she was my mom went online and bought her and didn't tell anyone until she arrived at our house, or until she was going to arrive at our house two days before. So she was a bit of a surprise, but the best surprise ever. Hi, Shmukums. Hi. So Chloe has a baby. She was like this big, not really, but she was about, eh, I don't know, a foot or two. And she was so cute. She used to sit on, um, right on the stairs, in between the stairs and the ledge and fall asleep. And Chloe's biggest thing that she started to do as a puppy, um, she started to eat paper. So in our house, we call Chloe the paper shark because whether it's paper towel, piece of paper, tissue, she will sneak up behind you and grab it. Nine times out of 10, she usually does. Uh, she's so sneaky and for some reason paper is a food group to her so she eats it whenever she can she loves it Zena loves to stand right on that ledge and either play with the ball or bark at the neighbors oh there she is <laughs> so we're about to go to Chloe's favorite place in the entire house we call her like a lion because she looks like she's like just laying in a field of desert, but this is where she likes to lay. If you don't know where Chloe is, nine times out of the 10, she's right here in front of the house. She likes to look right out the window. There's lots of dirt and slobber on, hi girls, on the windows because these two like to stand right here and jump up and down just like that it's so obnoxious chloe is one of my favorites she actually has two torn knees she got two acl surgeries for all you girls out there who've done it so has she she's been there she had two hot pink casts she looked beautiful but now she's eight years old and happy and just still really really cute so the other dog that runs around our house is not actually my family's dog. It's actually my boyfriend's dog. Her name is Zena, but ever since she started living here this summer, she's become part of the family. Get it, Zena. <laughs> One thing about Zena is she is so fast. She's a lab, we think pointer or rat terrier mix but she is the fastest thing I've ever seen in my life. Chloe's pretty fast and Zena can run circles around her. Zena! Hi. <laughs> she's very acrobatic. So the best thing about Zena is that she's an adult dog. She's only two and a half, but she's in puppy size. So she is the perfect size. She's great to snuggle up with, hang out with on the couch. She loves to take up um, people's spots, so she likes the warm spots on the couch. So if you get up, the second you turn around, she's there laying in your spot. She's just so cute. The bad habit Zena has is she is a barker. She and Chloe will sit out front, and Zena will bark all the time, but when Chloe gets involved, we know something's actually out there. But Zena loves to bark, but it's okay, she's still really cute. So those are the two pups currently living in the Cummings household. 
but I need to mention one more. My girl Nelly, we had to put her down a couple months ago and it was one of the saddest things I've ever experienced. Um, but she was the best dog, so cute, so lovable, sweetest dog I've ever met. Um, so this one's for you now. Nelly was an English Mastiff. Um, she was like 100, 115 pounds, but she thought of herself as a lap dog. She was so cute, loved to snuggle right up on the couch and put her head right on my shoulder. Um, so that's probably the thing I miss most about her because Zena likes to, but she likes to snuggle with my boyfriend more and Chloe does not like to snuggle unless you go to her. So that's what I miss most about Nell. Rest in peace, my girl. So that's your little meet and greet for the animals that I love most dear. Um, they are, just have a little special place in my heart. Those dogs and the cat, I love my cat too. She just doesn't get as much love from me on social media. Sorry, Smoke. So we're about to meet my cat. Her name is Smokey. We got her when she was literally this big. And we had trouble deciding what name to call her for a couple different reasons. For one, she loved to go in between the crevice, between the washer and dryer. So we didn't know where she was, but she'd come out to be covered in the lint. So my mom wanted to call her Dusty but my sister ultimately got to choose and she decided upon Smokey. So this is Smokes, Smokey. She's actually a pretty rare cat, we just found out. She's like a gray long hair something or other. I don't know, my cat breeds that well. But she is very pretty and very, very sweet. Hi, Smoke. She loves getting scratched right around her neck and her ears. Yeah. And she has the greenest eyes, which are apparently very rare, the vet said. But I thought a lot of cats had green eyes. The best thing about Smokes is she's the only one that you can hold like this. So if she can hear her purring. She loves to get held. She's great. Cats are easy. So, hope you enjoyed meeting my animals. Let me know if you guys have any pets that you love just as much as your family members. And see you next time. Bye.